everyone and welcome back to my channel so this movie is interesting because in the UK it goes under a totally different name than anywhere else so this movie is released in 2011 and the actual name is puncture but in the UK it is titled injustice and we'll find out why so Mike Weiss a young Houston lawyer and drug addict and Paul Denziger his longtime friend and straight laced law partner are the personal injury lawyers behind a law firm called Denziger and Weiss they decide to take on a case involving Vicky Rogers, a, lo of her, a local ER nurse who was pricked by a contaminated needle on a job and contracted HIV. This ER nurse must be callous to like, prick herself with a contaminated needle. Vicky shows Mike and Paul a safety needle invented by her family friend Jeffrey Duncott which defends against accidental needle sticks by only being used once but isn't that the whole point of a needle you only use once you don't use it again but anyways in the meantime Mike is struggling with heavy drug usage and his loneliness <laughs> he sex sex therapy. I don't know how that is gonna help out. As a source of comfort and is consistently in a company of prostitutes. Sounds like Chris. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Um His personal struggles impede on his professional ambition as he misses many of the meetings and investment events driving a wedge between him and Paul. They meet with Nathaniel Price and he offers a settlement the tipping point of the conflict between Mike and Paul. The conflict comes to a head as Mike argues to take a case to trial and seek justice while Paul protests that there is no feasible way of victims who implores him to continue the case on behalf of the lives of affect lives affected by used needles. Now I'm scared because I don't know how many times in the US where I've been injected by the like, flu shot and whether the needle has been reused or not I won't be surprised if it is reused which spread AIDS and hepatitis worldwide Mike meets with Nathaniel Price and pledges he will personally find new clients and hospital employees affected by these unsafe needles across the country however the next day, Paul finds Mike dead from an overdose. At the settlement conference, Paul walks in with famous personal injury attorney Mark Lanier declining the settlement and proclaiming that they will see them in court. The movie's postscript tells the audience that in 2004, attorney settled a lawsuit against one of the nation's largest medical supply manufacturer for over $150 million. As a result, thousands of hospitals throughout the United States now use safety needles. I wonder how much that is true. Become a good guy. Fight the good fight for justice. Is that what you did? Yes, I did. How's that working out? 